Hi, this is Lauren. Up on my screen here, I have the Milano app. This is the app or program that I use to run my entire life, my entire business. And what I'll be covering in this video is the concept of a board. So if you look over here at the left-hand side, you can see all the different elements that go into building your Milanote dashboard or your Milanote experience. The one that I want to direct your attention to here is this blue periwinkle one in the middle that says board. Now a board is really sort of the basis of the entire Milanote experience. It's what you're going to build everything upon. So what is a board? In general, you can think of it as the canvas or the playground in which you're going to add all of your elements. So on my screen here, this entire kind of main beige rectangle, that in itself is a board. And all of these other little blocks here, so the right now, the December 2024, Milanote blog, etc., those are also boards that live on this main dashboard. Let's click into one of them. Here I'm gonna click into December 2024. This is my mood board, and this is sort of, I think, what most people think about when they think of the Milanote dashboard, or the first time they're playing around with it, this is where it gets really cool. It literally is a freeform canvas where you can drag everything. I can add new images here if I want. I can double click and simply start typing. I can add to-do list simply by dragging and dropping. So again, this is sort of the classic board experience. It really is like a bulletin board and that is really kind of the beauty and power and it's what makes Milanote so unique. But there's another layer to boards that I think takes Milanote from being just sort of a fun mood board type of app into a true functional productive powerhouse. So I'm gonna come back here to my main screen. And what I wanna talk about here is that you can use boards for organization. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to click into this Lauren Lane board here. Lauren Lane is my pen name for my author career. And this is a, another board that I've just clicked into. And I would describe this as sort of a hybrid board. It's primarily serving as functionality or organization because it's housing these other boards, right? So I can click into my media kit board, into my brand board, a course that I'm working on, and then of course these boards for my actual books. And then here though, I have an actual text block here. So here I, I have a little bit of content, something that I can reference without having to click anywhere. That would be how many books I have published. But usually when I come into this board, it's because I need to click into one of these sub boards or nested boards. Now I'm gonna show you an example of a board that is purely functional. Let's click into this published board here. And you can see here I've got a bunch of subboards nested into this published board. So I have a board for each of my books. They all live here. And you can see as I'm scrolling here, the entire purpose of this board is simply to click into other boards. It's functioning more of a folder than it is a bulletin board itself because there's no information that I can actually reference here. It's simply serving as a way to organize these other boards. Now I'm going to click into one of these book boards. I'm gonna click into Sir With Love, here we have ourselves on a, another hybrid board because I have the actual content living here, right? I don't need to click into anything to grab, you know, say these accolades here or to grab the buy links or to download the cover, which I can do simply by right clicking. But I also have some sub boards living here. So if I wanted to get into my original brainstorm for the book, all of these are boards that live within this main book board. So if I click into this, here you can see this was just my very messy brainstorm as I was plotting the book. And this is, again, this is back to the idea of treating a board as a whiteboard or a bulletin board where I'm literally just throwing elements on top of it, but there's nowhere to click in here. This particular brainstorm board is not serving any organizational purpose. It's purely creative. If I had to come back up here to this breadcrumb in the upper left, this again, I'm gonna go backwards. This is a hybrid board. We are housing the actual information itself. It has the actual elements. You can picture this as sort of you know a bulletin board where I've pinned the description, I've pinned the image, but again, we've got that hidden functionality and that it also has boards living within it. I'm gonna go back one more. You see the difference now, right? This is still a board. It's still the exact same process when it comes to adding it, but it's serving a very different function than say that brainstorming, messy brainstorming map that I just showed you. Back one more. Again, this is a bit of a hybrid board in that it does have a little bit of information here, but it's primarily organizational. And I'm gonna come back one more to my main board, which I would describe this primarily as organizational, although I do have 
a bit of a hybrid in that I have my little reminder and I do a couple of seasonal images. So that's the best way to think about a board. It can be either organizational in purpose, it can be completely creative in purpose, or it can be sort of a hybrid where you have the actual creative elements itself, as well as boards nested within. I'll be covering how to add a board, customize a board, and use templates in future videos.